Are you tired of carrying around your tourniquet in your pocket? Or maybe you rubber band it to your kit and it falls off because it gets snagged on stuff? Well, welcome back to another episode of the Frankenvet Experiment where we not only give you the knowledge, but the confidence in all of your tactical survival and firearms needs. Today we'll be reviewing the 1110 TQ tourniquet holder as a possible means of carrying this life-saving piece of equipment. Stay tuned. The 1110 rigid TQ tourniquet holder is a rugged injection molded 5 by 2.5 by 2 inch Cat7 tourniquet holder that uses blade tech mount that easily attaches and detaches only when you want it to. Now for those of you that are thinking, you know, oh no, not another tactical waste of money, I would like to say, keep an open mind. While I was actually in the army, I carried two tourniquets on me. One was in my IFAC, just in case somebody else needed to use it on me. The other one I kept on my person. I uh, Sometimes I would put it in my pocket or you know, I'd rubber band it to my kit. The problem was, is by putting my pocket, depending on where I was hit, it can be very difficult to get to and rubber banding it to my kit, it seemed to fall off a lot. So now I have to say that I've been testing this for a while now. I have to give credit to 1110. Uh, this holder is truly rugged. I don't know if you can really see that, all the marring and whatnot. Yeah, right there. But whether this thing has been on my plates or on my battle belt, uh, this thing can take a beating. As well as it's kept this positive retention right here. It's actually harder to get in than this gout, but it's not gonna fall out at all. And at only being 3.8 ounces, this thing is incredibly light. Granted, that is without the uh, the tourniquet inside. And it's actually backwards compatible uh, for Cat7 and before tourniquets. Now, I will have to say that while this thing actually is very rugged and very light, they did this by actually making the injected molded nylon very thick. Uh, so it can be extremely bulky if this isn't put in a direct line with other gear on your battle belt or on your plate carrier and it will snag on thing. Though, because of the tech lock, it won't come off. So that's awesome. And as well, this whole top open design tends to leave it open to the elements, especially for those of you that train, you know, outdoors a lot. Now, I will say that they do have a cover that covers the top here, but when you're already spending between 35 and 48 dollars on the holder itself i would call that a demerit now overall well this can be a spendy and very bulky piece of gear for what it is 1110 has done a great job making a quality piece of life-saving equipment and you can use it to save yourself or somebody else now if you would like to check this out i have actually put a link in the description below go and check it out for yourself and all the different color variants be it the rescue orange basket weave for the law enforcement or you know me, OCP, that I love so much. But if you're law enforcement, military, civilian sheepdog, or just somebody that enjoys tactical training, I highly recommend you pick up one of these great pieces of life-saving equipment for your kit. Now it's your turn to tell us, how do you carry your tourniquet with you? Do you use a rubber band? Maybe you already use a holder. Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like today's content, don't be afraid to hit that like and share button. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all of our weekly content coming out every Wednesday and Friday. As always, stay smart, stay safe, stay alive.